this, these six stars are Rigel and Bellatrix. And they are part of the beautiful Orion constellation. That being said, going into Greek mythology here, and I'm, my, you know that I'm very much into Greek mythology and so are you. Um, I think there's significance uh, in this. Orion, he was um, a warrior and he even was, uh, well, a, a hunter and warrior and hunted alongside Artemis. Uh, also known as Diana. She's like the renowned female uh, hunter, huntress. And in some versions of the myth, he got a little too, a little too cocky, a little too in his head, <laughs> like that Aries energy, Aries rules the head, uh, too much in his ego. And he's like, basically, I can hunt every animal on this earth. And the earth heard him, Gaia, she did not like that. <laughs> so she sent a scorpion after him, which ended up poisoning, poisoning him. Uh, so when he died, Zeus had placed him in the stars, making the Orion constellation with Scorpius constellation, the scorpion, uh, looking to always be chasing after him on opposite ends of the sky. Ooh, there <laughs> you go. Here, yeah, here's a good visual for you guys to see. So I feel this is a significant story as this kind of gives us a reality check. Uh, we have to kind of humble ourselves here. We have to be careful uh, as to not get burned by our own uh, fires we light, so mm -hmm. to speak. And how do we stand up for ourselves though without causing more problems or issues? So one thing I do know is that Beetlejuice um, is uh, dying. Um, and mm -hmm. so what that means is the light that's going to come affect us at some point. They don't really know when exactly, mm. but when it comes in, yeah, Beetlejuice is in the armpit of the warrior. Yeah. He's over <laughs> you know, here. Right and then we Bellatrix and Rigel yeah. is here. But Beetlejuice is, um, when that light comes through, we may have just, our skies may be lighter all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Robert Edward Grant is oh. a wonderful uh, one to follow that is an amazing astrologer and uh, just an extraordinary individual. And um, and he talks about it. He has a, actually a video on that. And I thought it was fascinating. That's but they, they really don't know when. You, you can't really tell when it's going to happen. You know, it, will it happen in our lifetime? I really don't know. But it would be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> yeah, that sounds amazing. If yeah, yes. the sky would I be mean, lighter. I mean, the amount of light that would come in could mm. that help to awaken enough people? Um, That's one really thing, interesting. just really quick, just to just and then I'll and I'll give it back to you. But sure, everything is being affected by Pluto and Aquarius. Yeah, and this one had an orb, a tight orb of uh, zero point zero nine, and in Aquarius, and very very tight. So. Yeah, I, you probably have it up here somewhere. Yes, but it is affecting everything. And we don't know how it's going to affect everything because mm -hmm. 248 years ago was the last time it was in Aquarius. And back then there was revolutions, there was push for change. So we can only assume it would be the same, but we really, really don't know. So, so yeah, just to wrap up my point and then we'll discuss a little bit more about it. We have to be reminded of the story of Orion as to not get too carried away in our ego or our head mm -hmm. and to learn our lessons and figure out a new path forward. Yes. Eat what with could our you hearts. say? Yeah, with our, yeah, with our hearts. With our hearts. Heart to heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> heart to heart. Perfect. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's find, I put also, um, sensible empowerment mm. how do we empower ourselves so do you okay. have anything to add on to what i shared about yes that's a good way to put it um sensible empowerment that blends mm -hmm. aries and libra so yes. we're trying to find the best of both um mm -hmm. and in astrology no matter what when you get a personal report from adriana or myself we're looking for that we're looking at what are the highest qualities of a house that you have a sign in, et cetera, mm -hmm. planets in. And what is, how can you combine these things and bring them into your life and find the balance? Um, we don't, again, we don't want to be overly selfless. Um, we don't want to be overly selfish. So in the middle, 
that's the goal. Absolutely. All yeah. types of healing. Um, it's balance. It truly is. That's that's the theme for the year. Really is balance. Yeah. But when mm -hmm. I was speaking a little bit earlier about um, when you brought up Orion as well. Um, it's interesting because I see Orion. Well, from my guidance from many, many, many years ago, that Orion is kind of the as above to Earth. We are the as below version of uh, this melting pot here on Earth of working out things in 3D, that we are the actors kind of playing out what may have happened and, and what can happen, it's not the best thing, but we could be the negative, what they call the negative contextual field of from the future. So Orion say, here's an example people could relate to maybe, Star Wars and uh, mm -hmm. Star Trek, especially the TV yeah. shows. <laughs> Star Wars Major fan. Yeah. Generation, I remember seeing them. They were like all these different beings hanging out in a space bar. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, and you got these huge reptilians and you have these little elves and all kinds of cool stuff. So, you know, that's Hollywood to some extent, but could it be that in the future, way in the future, or we could look at it in the ancient past, it's, we're a circle. So who's to say, <laughs> is it before or after? We can't mm -hmm. really tell. Mm -hmm. but, um, would it be that Orion may have healed much of the wounds um, at that level, if, especially at that higher frequency. Uh, and then we are still playing out some of the karmic uh, patterns to finish that up that mm -hmm. need to be taken care of. So what does that mean exactly? So I see that we're considered very much like uh, the... <laughs> The guides that work with people, they they feel like they're amazed at what we're doing, that we're in the body, that we're doing this work. So we're kind of the foot soldiers, so to speak, doing the tougher work um, to then send the vibration of healing. So when we have something happen and we have a great result, waves of that goes through our ancestry. And it doesn't just go mm -hmm. uh, forward. It can go backward. It can go any direction. So maybe if we're in the middle, say we're in the middle, we could help our parents and our grandparents and our great, great grandparents. And then we could help our future generations, our children and children's children and forward. Um, so whoever is in that position to do some major change in a pattern is going to be a pivotal point that's going to wave it out through the ancestry. So if every single one of us are doing that, you could see where there could be collective growth and collective mm -hmm. healing over time. So we're yeah. like the foot soldiers. We we are doing the tough work. We really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, go ahead, honey. I was just going to add to that. I I feel just from you know just seeing things and and my personal experience that a lot of us are starting to become more awakened to healing our ancestral lineage or you know breaking generational curses, whatever you want to call them. I think a lot of us are becoming more awakened now in that. So I think it's, um, Absolutely. yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've yeah. seen that in your work so, too. Yeah. So with the, as we go more forward with this Pluto and Aquarius, it's, it's going to really yes. push yes. us forward quicker because we've got that air sign, Pluto and Aquarius with that air sign and then pushing all this fire that's here this year. We have yep. a lot of fire air so that's just going to make a bigger fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> moving the flames forward. so but i love uh, both of us are saying the same thing that we have to also be careful to not overdo yes not push ourselves to the point of yes. exhaustion i hear a lot of people say how exhausted they are i don't think they're addressing self-care that is so important taking time for a nice little cup of tea with mm -hmm. a great beer. <laughs> yeah <laughs> something you enjoy and and just mm -hmm. slowing down a little bit slowing down yeah. with meditation walks in nature um mm -hmm. action with your loved one if you're um having a difficult time with partnership or marriage or relationship get out in nature together very very healing 